Hello there. Hello everyone. You know, um, this is Nick from Yardman Garden and Arts TV. I already know who it is. You know what I mean? So, anyway, remember in previous video, um, I shared that, you know, Kalalofa days. It look more like Kalalofa weeks, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's a beautiful moment. I can imagine, um, you know, a few months ago I didn't have Kalalu. I, it's years I haven't eaten Kalalu, you know, since I left Jamaica. And to be having my own Kalalu here, it's, a, it's, a, it's just a blessing, you know what I mean? It's crazy. But look at how lush this is. All organic. But yeah, Kalalu for weeks. And it, it is now. Not even for days, for weeks. But anyway, this is not what this is about directly, this video. But in fact, you know, look at the height. So today that's what this is about. I never seen Kalalu so high. Look at that. That's crazy. So I measure it already with a tape measure. It's going up to like 10 feet. You know, some part of it is probably like over 10 feet. But yeah, look at that. So as you see all the top area is like all seed. So I'm not gonna be out of Kalalu. <laughs> it's gonna be a every season thing, you know what I mean? I can start a farm right now. Look at that. That's all seed. All beautiful Kalalu seed. But all my life I never seen Kalalu this tall off the ground. So as you see, this is where I've been cutting and eating from, all in that thick area, you know, so that's some off ground. So all my bushy areas, you know, about three and a half feet. And then we're going up to the, um, the super height. That is crazy. So, I mean, if I was trimming and pruning those cutting them you know while they were growing it wouldn't have gotten so tall you know and all that area in the, in the mid area would be more bushy but I spot these seed from earlier and I figured that hey I'm gonna need my own seed you know what I mean because the seed that I got from Jamaica in the package you know they, they were not so hot you know what I mean I saw a lot so much in the area and just few of it if you realize right now, it's probably like six root of Kalalu doing all that right now. I remember. That's only how much catch. Individual plant. It's probably six, seven most. It's probably not even that much. You know, I mean, I guarantee. And I'm going to look in the area for a minute. But yeah, that's all it is. That few Kalalu doing all of that. But yeah, the package that came from Jamaica wasn't so hot. But I know these going to be hot. These are freshly, freshly organic Kalalu seed you know what I mean that is crazy you know what I mean anybody may see this video from Jamaica especially or anywhere in the Caribbean you know comment if you ever see Kalalu this tall before I'd like to know you know share share your thoughts with me share even a pick you know what I mean and comment you know and tag me in the comment yeah, that's crazy. So this is what this video about, just sharing my experience of this Kalalu. Because I know this, you know, in a few months from now, maybe not even say a few, a couple months, the most, you know, frost going to start kicking in. And I doubt this going to survive frost, you know what I mean? I, I would be damn if I see this survive frost. But it's crazy. I'm going to be cutting some Kalalu this moment a ton of kalalu and i know that within a couple more weeks it's all gonna spring back you know that's how kalalu goes each of you may know that you know familiar with kalalu it's a very healthy plant you know what i mean just like you have your spinach and i guarantee you kalalu is more healthier than spinach you know what i mean and it's full of flavor pack full of flavor and as you can see it's switched right growing next year you know, I still feel Kalalu beat all of those in, in, in um, nutrients. You know, um, could be just a, a cultural thing. 
and I could be wrong, but I doubt it. It's high in iron and all that, and it's really good for the blood, for sure. You know, these are just super food, super vegetable. You know what I mean? You feed on these type of stuff, you can't go wrong. And I'm excited, you know, being a vegetarian. You know, um, having this right now is just such a great pleasure. Because you wouldn't find this unless you go to Jamaica, you know what I mean? It's a breakfast thing a lot, mostly. You know, people prepare it for breakfast, lunch, you know, dinner, whatever. It's just a great side vegetable. You know what I mean? Frock with, you know. It's probably one of them vegetables definitely you'll find protein in and all that. You know, you know not, not a lot of vegetables have protein. But I feel like definitely this is one of them greens. That you'll find some protein. Strong in iron. You know, a lot of vitamins, calcium and all that. You know, potassium. Oh yeah, you'll probably find a little bit of everything covered in Kalalo. And um, definitely good for the bloodstream. But yeah, it's crazy. i never seen Kalalo this tall all my life. And this is not like a bragging or anything, you know what I mean? Just straightforward. And if you deem me wrong, you can prove me wrong, you know, by sharing your Kalalo image or a video with us. You know, it's definitely going up to like 10 feet or more. You know, past the ground. Yeah, I'm gonna take you guys close um, to see like the, the canopy inside. Also, the body of it is crazy. You know what I mean? The body of them is just not even normal. Look at those. I'm trying to get the video in um, a bit closer. seem to get the right angle but anyway you guys get the picture but as you can see it's definitely not a much, much kalalo individual plant you know they're just huge and they, they spread in different sections as you can see that one 